Great. Get yeah. around. Uh, give me a buzz or something. There's lots of cool stuff to talk about. Yeah. Okay. Great. About you know all everybody too. There's yeah. just a bunch of great players. Okay. A lot of times this machine ends up pointing out how inadequate some things are when they come off the line. We ground the strings with this so mm -hmm. that the machine knows where the strings are. So it has a little sensor feeler that goes and measures the frets. When you say measures the frets, the spacing between? Uh, the heights, spacing between. It's accurate within a thousandth of a millimeter and, uh, and consistently accurate within right. a thousandth of a millimeter. What's it going to tell you now? It will tell me whatever I need to know. <laughs> this is a side view. This is the side of the neck. Okay. Each one of these mountain looking Are things the is a fret. Okay. And so when I blow it up vertically, this black line, this black curve, is the neck of the guitar. The wood. Uh -huh. Okay. And each one of these mountains is a single fret. You know, this is the first, there's the twelfth, and then there's the last. This blue curve is what the machine is saying the ideal amount of relief in the neck okay. needs to be. Um, mm -hmm. And this is just under one string. You know, we have this is the D, uh, okay. A, the low E. So we can move across each string and see what the issues are. And this, is, this guitar so looks pretty good. Um, so I'm going to tighten the truss rod a little bit. So I've adjusted that. And I'm just gonna now we're going to read it again. Yeah, I'm just flex the neck to make sure. that matches a lot more closely. Yeah. And after I do that, I would go into a fret dress where you know, we, we knock off the tops of the frets. Were I to go ahead and dress it right now, I have control over uh, the amount of fall away possible. So I'm bringing the green down, and what that means is that everything above that you know, will be filed off. And you're talking about how much of it? Thousands? This amount is three ten thousandths of an inch. I would set this where I want it, you know, and this is where, you know, people have specific requirements. Like some people say, hey, bring all my frets down to this specific height. We can do that. Some people are saying, hey, I like a little more fall away. Or um, I want a bend dress, like there's too much radius yeah. in. And uh, if they want a little more material taken out of the middle, we can change the radius of the frets to get, you know, cleaner bend notes. Mm -hmm. um, and so, we, you know, we've got control over all of that. Once I have it set where I want it, I will just hit cut, move the strings out of the way, and it, see, it remembers an amount off of each fret. Since the blade's curved, you know, it crowns the frets right. as it cuts it. Because right. they're not perfectly smooth, you know, you right. gotta feel some, you know, grinding when you bend or something right. like that. And so we'll, we'll go and get different grits of sandpaper and steel wool and some polish and clean up the frets after it's been dressed. Well, I will say, when I brought, I brought my 52 Tele in here and had them just rip all the friends out and start all over, and it was wonderful. Yeah. It's just great.